so I found the truck that was used to steal stuff from us. So I think I'm gonna pull in here and have a talk. So there's the truck. So the video you're about to see is back from July and has been resolved. So please do not contact the police about this. We're just not allowed to share it with you though, but it has been taken care of. Let's get into it. Definitely get a police report number because then in that case, um, we can get a warrant going. All right, so the sheriff just left. They just took a police report, gave me a case number. They took them at 4 a.m. this morning. That. Are we able to get the video file some other way? I am going to find that out and keep you posted on that. Okay. People just can't leave their hands off things, can they? No, they sure can't. You get a police report number and we can go from there. All right, do you have an exact extension I can call you back at? So I knew it was only a matter of time before somebody stole from the property. Unfortunately, People like to take things that they don't own. <clears throat> Not having a real good morning here. So, couple folks and I'm gonna really watch what I say here because this is gonna be ongoing and I don't want to give away anything uh, anyways a couple gentlemen uh, went on to our property uh, and took stuff that don't belong to them and Savannah and I and our family we're gonna pray for you am I upset yes Am I devastated? No. Because I have faith in the Lord and nothing anybody does against me or towards me affects me in the long term. So anyways, woke up, got woke up this morning early to my alarms going off at the property. Obviously, I got what I needed to get and I headed there. So by the time I got there, they were gone. And I'll say it like this, I'm glad they were gone because I've shared with you guys before, I never ever wanna harm somebody. Will I? Yes. I will protect my stuff and my family. So they got away as of now, uh, police report, is being filed. I have appointments I have to do right now that I can't miss, so it has to wait. I don't know when I'll release this video, uh, but if we get it resolved, I will share with you guys in this video at some point uh, the videos and photos uh, from the incident. And we have clear, I mean clear, photos of their pickup truck the gentleman so this thing's going to be cut up a little bit because i really got to watch what i say here but anyways so the way it works is the company that has the camera system they get more data than what we do we get photos videos all that stuff whenever motion happens how we have it all set up well they get way more because obviously you know it's a lot more data well for them to access it there actually has to be a police report. So once we find out exactly who they are and pursue that whole thing, we can then move forward with the rest. So anyways, I got appointments right now. I'll be back. I don't know where this video is gonna pick back up. All right, so now we fast forward. Things have evolved and I am going to share these gentlemen, and I say gentlemen lightly, their truck, and as much as the information that I possibly can. And I'm only doing this because we have a lot of people uh, on this channel that are local, 
And if this truck is out and about and these guys are out and about, uh, I want you to be aware of them that they're up to no good and they're out to take things that don't belong to them. And uh, we have a really good reach here on the channel and I'm hoping you all will help us get this reach out there and share it on your channels as well. And uh, just make it known, okay? So if you guys would, please help us make this thing go because it's not right for people to take things that other people work extremely hard to get. So what happened is the gentleman went onto the property. Uh, they were scoping out things. Uh, they took some little stuff and they came across the cameras as well. They took the cameras that I kind of, you know, put out there for them to see and always anticipated, hey, if somebody did go onto the property, they would see these and they would take them. Well, also knowing that I had other cameras as well. Big shout out to Whistling Diesel. He went through something very similar a while ago and I got this idea from him. So we got great shots of the truck. We got great shots of the license plate. Uh, we got great shots of them. So from advice that I got, I'm not supposed to share the clear images and videos of their faces uh, just because somebody could do something. And I want to make this very clear to each and every one of you. If you know who they are or if you happen to run into them or see this truck, yada, 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 do not approach them. Just simply call the cops and say, hey, this is the truck that you guys are looking for. This is where it's at. And uh, that's it. That's all I'm asking anyone to do. This is the first photo I'll share with you of them casing the place. Uh, we have video that goes along with this. Like I stated already, the cameras record. So you can see a very definitive truck, big push bar on the front, red fenders, white hood, uh, gold, like tannish tailgate. I'll show you more photos here in just one second. But yeah, this is the first one. Uh, the, the police, like I said, they know exactly who they are. They know where they stay. It's just a matter of time until, you know, it's not like a, uh, you know, somebody lost their life or something like that. And it's like pushed to the very front. You know, this is theft. Uh, and justifiably, I don't expect everyone to drop everything. Uh, you know, they're doing their cases and everything and go handle, you know, equipment and stuff that was stolen from us. I totally understand that. And I expect that myself. So the police are aware of them, but they're not going to go out of their way uh to pursue this you know these these guys are honestly they're pretty dumb i mean extremely dumb most thieves are dumb and it's only a matter of time before you get caught uh so yeah i guess i'll go ahead and plug the photos up here some of the ones that i can share and we have videos as well so just like if you uh have ever seen like the police body cameras they start recording before something actually happens, like the motion or whatever. Uh, the cameras that we use do the exact same thing. So as soon as it picked up motion, it started recording, I think, 30 seconds before that. So we actually have a full conversation that they told me not to share with you that they had between one another. Uh, believe it or not, they were, they were looking at my skid steer and they couldn't figure it all out. Luckily, I have things in place to uh, stop them from doing that. And what we actually think, this is all hypothetical. Uh, we think they were either going to ram or try to ram through the gates with the truck with that big brush guard on the front, or they were actually gonna try to use my skid steer to go through the gate. And then their main objective was to get the plows. And uh, yeah, anyways, we have information as well uh that they were casing uh other properties in the area they broke into other uh companies the same night in the area uh another person uh got good photos of them actually using binoculars looking at their house uh so this is kind of a combination of information that has all been driven back to us kind of behind the scenes uh you know this stuff all happened at an earlier date, I'm just kind of getting you guys caught up to speed. As of right now, they have not been caught. They will get caught. It's only a matter of time. Uh, but 
it, it'll take like getting pulled over or something like that before you know the police will actively arrest them and then we can pursue our actual case for with the things they took from us basically we'll have to go to court and the cops are like are you going to prosecute them or are we wasting time i'm like i will absolutely 100 percent prosecute them there's nothing i hate more than a pedo and a thief i mean plain and simple uh i'm old school eye for an eye you know if if you know i gotta watch what i say here guys <laughs> anyways they'd allow me to take a pinky i'd take a pinky just saying it like that you, you deserve to learn lessons and these aren't little kids or anything like that you know they're they're adults so anyways i'm going to share here with you what i have photo wise video wise if you guys see this truck uh yeah just letting you know the plate is their plate it is dead i know i have a lot of law enforcement officers that watch this channel as well and a ton of you will reach out to me via email uh the cops have already figured all this out uh, it's actually a historical plate, but he it's still his plate registered to the truck, but he hasn't registered the truck since 2020. Uh, and yeah, basically when you go in to do the, the way they search the plates or whatever, it, you have to move it to a historical because it's been dead for a couple years. But it's actually, he used that plate on that truck originally when he bought the truck or built it, whatever he did. Uh, so yeah. Like I said, criminals aren't exactly smart. So anyways, keep a lookout for this truck that I'm about to show you. And uh, like I said, I want to reiterate to you, I do not want any of you to approach them, talk to them, say anything to them. Uh, simply call the cops. And, you know, if they're your neighbor or if they, you see that truck sitting somewhere, call the cops. That's all I ask you to do. So, yeah, let's go ahead and show those photos and I'll come back and finish the video out. I'm not going to draw it out. This investigation went on through almost all of 2023, and we were asked not to share this video because they were investigating these guys already for a huge roofing company that they robbed and stole trailers and, I mean, hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of equipment. And, uh, yeah, they were they were local thieves. They were hitting a lot of different places. They literally went like a mile and a half from our location here and robbed another business. I mean, literally booted in the door and took everything they could possibly take. All right, so there you have it. If you see that truck or that license plate, keep an eye out on your stuff. They're up to no good. Going from place to place and distilling what they can and being little pieces of crap. I'll say it like that. But anyways, I'm going to I'm gonna stay in my faith here and I'm going to pray for them. And uh, yeah, I have no ill will towards them. I just, I don't like a thief. So I found the truck that was used to steal stuff from us. So, I think I'm gonna pull in here and have a talk. So, there's the truck. Somebody walked up to the door and peeked out and then they walked away and I heard some talking but I couldn't make it out so I knew there was somebody home for sure so I'm gonna knock a little bit more. Yes, ma'am. No worries. You know who owns that truck right there, the big one? Yeah. Who owns Why? it? You own it? No. It was probably when they checked it out. What's wrong with what's wrong with that? That truck never leaves that thing up. Well, it just so happens I'm coming by here and I see that truck. Yeah. That truck was used not even two weeks ago to rob stuff from my property. Well, yeah. One hundred percent that truck. That truck? That truck. That truck, that truck doesn't even really go up and down this road. Listen, because of the, the tires. I wouldn't stop here okay. and I wouldn't knock on your door if I wasn't 100% sure it was that truck. 
Okay. What stuff is? Uh, if, if there's something on your pro- uh, that I have on, on my property that belongs to you, I'm giving it to you. Because I don't play that shit. Do Both of them taken. I have photos. The, they don't know it, but the photos are sent strictly right to my cell phone. They took them from my property. He has that dear- truck, 100% on my property. I know who it was then. Who, who was it? I think it's his brother, Justin. I have videos of them on Do you mind if camp. I see who, 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 who they I'm not going to show you exactly well, what I have. I mean, I'm telling you I'm right just, now, it was that truck 100%. Only thing I can think of, that truck hasn't even moved. Matter of fact, it's been out of town for two weeks. So it has to be. You said there was two of them. Yes, and it did not have that cap on it two weeks ago either. You can't hide that truck. With that push bar on the front of it, the white hood, the red fenders, you can't miss it. I got the license plate of that truck. And the license plate's dead. Yeah, I know that both says he only he'll start it and he'll go up it, he'll go he'll go up to the corner, and he'll turn around. Well he went stole property from me. I'm not confront I'm not brother, mad at you. I'm saying his brother was here, so I doubt it was him because he won't he won't drive that truck. Okay. All right. So had a good conversation with the lady that's there. And uh she's on the hunt right now for her boyfriend, she said. And whoever else was with them and uh i told her hey i want my equipment back i said or i want the money to cover it i said they have one day until tomorrow plain and simple they know where they took it from they better bring it freaking back and i told them they'll be on camera from the second they turn onto my road so yeah i'm a little fired up right now i was hoping they would be there I just so happened to see that vehicle. So I'll get you guys caught up here real quick. Those videos you just saw are about six to seven months old. Happened like right in the middle of summer, like June, July-ish roughly, and uh, carried on throughout the rest of the season. Uh, long story short, we got our equipment back. They actually brought it back and set it at our gate and left them. Uh, we didn't get everything, but I'm assuming, you know, what they didn't bring back, they had already sold off or whatever. But uh, we got the two main things, which were the two cameras that they took, which were valued at about 1200 bucks. These guys, uh, they tag team together. There's a, a whole little group of them and uh, very, very well known by the locals. And uh, they just so happened to come by our property. Hey, big thank you for the uh, dinner. I just got to need some chicken TQ. Uh, these are chicken thighs. Boneless, and- skinless chicken thighs. Yeah, and then what else you do to them? I'll let you fill them in since I've been talking all the time. Here, let me grab what I got here. So, you dip them in egg, you do the little egg dip, and then I got these. Um, they're pork rinds. This is Italian or panko crumbs. It's not per se panko. It is pork rinds and zero carbs, zero sugars, flavor. That's what we like. They were really good. Yeah. Really good. I was... uh. You know, kind of hesitant a little bit about it being the, the Italian seasoning because a lot of times they'll add stuff to this kind of stuff. Like uh, pork rinds, you can use regular pork rinds as well. Grind them up, dry them out as best you can. But if you get into the flavored pork rinds, there's stuff added into those, like the barbecue and stuff, which are really, really good. I love them, but they just add bad stuff in there that doesn't need to be in there on a carnivore style And diet. bonus, seven grams of protein per serving so that's yeah. good hope you guys enjoyed this video this one uh it's been in my storage file for a long time i was just waiting to get the okay from the officers to uh go ahead and release it and this is that time to do it so uh yeah it's unfortunate this was the first one before the second one where they actually got in the skid loader and tried to start it and all of that uh this one was just different people and they were being investigated long term with a lot bigger Uh, crimes that they committed so yeah hope you guys enjoyed today's video as always keep mowing keep growing keep making money boys we'll talk to you later tq out peace bye